Okay, so I'm working on this again. I want to show you guys what I have accomplished so far. So um, the charger is not completely, you know, it's just sitting there to get things bolted up. But I finished my piece that goes from back there. Um, goes bolts to the back of the supercharger and into the throttle body. I just bought a throttle body spacer, welded it on that adapter, and um, I put one clamp right there just because it'll be easier to take on and off. And then got this piece all done, and I wanted to go back into the factory intake so it looks clean. And let me show you. So just goes just like that. Um, I'll probably get a different cover that breathes better, Brett better, or I'm thinking I'm gonna modify this one. Just, uh, I just want it to look stock and clean. I know it doesn't look stock for the supercharger, but I want it to look OEM, you know, professional. I'm gonna have all this piping powder coated black piece back there, as long as the throttle body spacer I use to uh, weld everything to. And then, um, got all my got my those pieces for the coolant i mounted my tank made a tank oh i bought the tank but i made the bracket uh, as you can see the welds aren't the best bolted it just right to there and then um electric fans are on i think that was in the last video they were on here's the heat exchanger we got a mount still so it's going to go up behind the grill somewhere right here don't know exactly how i'm going to mount it yet but it shouldn't be too big of a deal. And then I got my pump, which is this one right here. Oops, sorry, that light's probably bright. But here is the pump. Um, just off a, uh, I think a Mercedes, I can't remember what they're off of, but it was like 20 bucks. And it's for a factory vehicle with a factory supercharger. I got the brackets done down, down there. So, getting close, um, a couple things, just the fuel rail's got to get done still, which I'm pretty much almost done with those, and then I got to figure out the wiring harness, how I'm going to route it, I'm going to have to, I'm going to try to tuck it away and hide most of it, and then hopefully it will look good, I hate, well I don't hate wiring, but I don't want to do it. So, the only thing I need to get a belt, fuel injectors, um, which the belt will be easy, I'll just have to measure it, run my coolant lines, wiring, and mount my heat exchanger, and this thing is going to be running. And then a tune, I already have the fuel injectors, upgraded fuel pump, so that won't be an issue. So, yeah, I pretty much have most of it complete, I would say. I uh, say I'm about 85 to 90 percent done with this entire build, supercharger wise. Still have to do the transmission when this one goes out, which should be soon. I don't think that's going to breathe the best by any means, but honestly, I just want um, it to look factory, and I think that looks good, especially once I get it powder coated. Um, in the next video, I'll pull it all back off and I'll show you the back, what the pieces look like that I welded. It's just a, like a throttle body plate on the back of the supercharger welded in a 180 degree pipe that goes to here. And then I welded in, um, welded onto this throttle body spacer just because it was 30 bucks. I'll link everything down in the description on how I, what I did and what I used. And then I just got a couple adapters, a 45, three and a half inch, and then into this 45 rubber boot that goes into the filter and then goes right into the factory location. So, and then I bought this from LSX Innovations, got that put on, and then I bought a smaller pulley for right here. And um, then I'll show you guys how So in the next video, I'm gonna have that done. Hopefully some fuel rails. So coolant, pass, coolant done. Um, hopefully have my belt on. I'll show you what belt you need and how I grout it. And then hopefully have this stuff powder coated. I could drop it off now since I now know what, that's since the intake's completely done. Um, the only thing left I'm gonna do is get, I got some bungs to weld in here for um, in, for vacuum and then I got a catch can, I got a mount still, but that stuff's pretty easy. And then I think that's it. So I'm gonna run hoses from each valve cover into the catch can and the catch can 
into this pipe right here. So as soon as I get that bung in, I'll weld it and then I will uh, be able to get that powder coated and then I might powder coat this piece. I don't know. I don't know if I should powder coat it or not because it doesn't look awful. Like I'm going to get this. This was like uh, anodized red. So I'm going to finish it. I want to finish cleaning that off because I don't want different colors, but I don't know what I'm going to do. Let me know if you guys, what you guys should think if I should powder coat all this aluminum black, like up there, right there, or if you guys like it the way it looks without, I just want it all to match and look good. So give me your ideas and thoughts down in the description or in the comments below. And, um, let me know, uh, what you guys think of the entire thing. If you have any questions, Comment down below, and I will put all the parts that I've used so far, like the pipes and the adapter and the throttle body plate, to um, down in the description, so you guys could buy them. I think so far, if I wanted to add this all up, I'm probably into this thing roughly 2300 with the whole new top end and all the miscellaneous parts. So far, I'm sure I got a couple things and paid for a tune, unless I tune it myself. We'll see. But um, I got the supercharger for four hundred dollars. Got the adapters for eight hundred dollars. So that's twelve hundred. Fuel injectors I only paid two hundred and fifty dollars for, and they're brand new. I just got a good deal. Um, so maybe like twenty five hundred for everything. Fairly cheap. Um, the heads I got it for a good deal, and I've sold my I sold my old heads to uh, offset the cost. So. Honestly, I'm not spending a ton of money on this thing. Just trying to get it fun and want it to be reliable. So that's why we're not going too crazy with it. Just going to make the factory boost and leave it at that and have a fun little racer. I already have a fast truck, so I don't need another don't need another thing that's super unreliable. So um, thanks for watching. Please uh, like, share, and subscribe. This takes a lot of work, and it's like 16 degrees out here, so. Um, it's not fun holding a camera and recording. I know I'm not recording me doing it, but it's still not fun. Just do it for you guys, and I like sharing my content, sharing my builds. So, see you guys all in the next update.